Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Ryan and this is how farms work. Today we are watching a spring planting video of this year, 2013. Now up front we have this tube, this yellow wheel, and this metal wheel. Uh, these are the first things I'm going to talk about. And then you have the spiky disc behind and the wavy disc behind that. Remember that, we're going to be talking about it. Um, first off, above this front unit is the fertilizer box. It's the biggest box that's up front you see. And from that is a tube. Now the tube goes down behind the metal disc and it deposits the fertilizer into the ground. Now the fertilizer we use is a dry fertilizer. There are uh, liquid fertilizers, uh, but we don't use them because they're oily, um, but you just have to handle them a different way. And we're thinking about switching over, but we haven't gotten there yet. Um, anyway, that yellow wheel that was behind that front metal disc what that does is it maintains the unit above the ground so that it's at the right depth. Um, I'm not exactly sure at what depth um, we plant, maybe, maybe a couple inches, an inch or two, I'm not, I'm not totally sure. Because by the time the ground levels off, it's a completely different depth. Um, anyway, for the second box that you see, it's the second biggest. Um, it's right in the middle. That is where our seed is, ho seed is housed. We order seed in um, like sacks. And each, and each sack is 80,000 units of corn. Um, basically, a unit is just a seed. Um, now, but there's those. In front of those boxes, how should I word this? There are the metal discs that you saw up front. Now, behind that is a wavy disc. And the wavy disc is what creates the space for the seed. Um, the spike discs. All they do is push the ground away from the unit so that there's room for the corn. On the back, there are, is another set of, set of discs that we have to control with little knobs on the back. You'll see those. Um, but what the second row of discs does is it pushes the ground back in. And behind that, there's this little white knob. You might not see it because um, it's on the back of the planter and I have, haven't really gotten any good shots from the back until later on in the video. Um, but what that white little uh, knob does is it pushes down on the ground and it kind of creates compression so that like the birds can't get at it. Um, that's kind of important because you don't want your birds picking up your seed. Um, on the side of the planter we have markers and hopefully I'll be getting to a shot of that soon. Now what the marker does is it creates a line in the field so that you know where your next pass will be. Um, sometimes you'll not be able to see it because you're planning in like hay, um, which brings me to my next point. On the third, the third box on the planter is for pesticide, for killing things such as wortworm. Um, here we're planting into corn what was the previous year, so we are using pesticide here to kill off wortworm for corn. Um, usually you don't have to worry about that for years where the ground was previously like a crop such as hay because um, the first year that you plant corn that wasn't corn the previous year you don't have to worry about pesticide because the worms haven't built up to a point where they'd be damaging to your crops. Um, there's the marker. You can adjust how far out you want it to go but we have it at the right distance so that when we turn around and go back the distance on each end, each of the end rows will be the same as we have for each of the rows. I believe this is 30 inch rows. Um, now if you see on the left side of the tongue here, there's that little black box. What that is is a radar. Um, the radar hooks up to this box that you see up in the upper right corner. Um, basically all it does is so we know our ground speed and the planter knows the ground speed. And by using that, um, we can measure out how much seeds we planted per acre and how much we're using. Um, with that black box that you can see, that's what we use to control um, how fast it deposits the seed into the ground and how close the corn crop is together. Um, this was just shot with my new GoPro camera. It's got some pretty nice angles with it. Um, anyway, we're pulling this with my brother's 7600. Um, Generally, we don't want to run at a very high speed because the faster you go, the there's like kind of like slippage for the wheels, 
which run the entire planter. Um, if there's not traction for your wheels, you're not going to have any seed movement or anything because um, if you look in the upper left, you can see kind of a, like a rotating metal bar. It's gone now, but um, that bar runs across the entire planter and that's uh, fixated to each row and it comes from the wheels. There's a chain on each wheel that drives that drives the units. Um, anyway, be sure to check out some of my other videos, by the way, uh, while we're waiting. Um, just a few more minutes, we'll be getting to our fertilizer wagon. Um, we order by the trucks, truckloads. Um, wait for them. We're about to go out and plant soybeans onto hay ground. Um, let's just watch and wait. I can't tell you what kind of mix the fertilizer is because um, it's something diff a little different every time, I think. Um, I'd have to see the slips that we use to order. Now, um, on these boxes, you can see there's that black panel. Those are used for like covering up the fertilizer. I don't know what other people do, but we usually don't put those down unless it's raining to keep the fertilizer from getting wet. Um, usually, we don't really have to worry about like um, spillage or anything because the fertilizer is it sticks to itself so much that you don't really have to be concerned about that. Um, but yeah, here we're planting soybeans. Um, it might look weird that we're using a uh, corn planter, but this year we planted 30-inch um, rows on soybeans. Usually we plant them closer than that, but um, we determined that for our yield on the soybeans that we would be making more by saving money on the soybeans, the seed, and from what our yield would be off of it. And compared to a lot of the other like soybeans in our area, um, we had an agronomist come down and look at it. Uh, we didn't have to have our soybean sprayed for any type of fungus or anything like that because um, I guess what they're having was around in this area, what problem is that they're having is fungus growing on the underside of the leaves. And um, with our rows, we really don't have to worry about that because they're so spaced so far apart. Um, it really sets some of them back. If you go drive around this area and you look at, hey, John, your equipment just went drove by. If you look at it, um, their soybean crop is damaged. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and check out my other videos.